Good morning. Morning. Vietnam. <laughs> Today was going very well. I was being very productive this morning. I got up and went on a run. I went to Sainsbury's, mopped the floor, made breakfast, hoovered my room, and then things took a turn. This is Sully, my cat, on the roof of our house, <laughs> literally up at the chimney. Uh, I was Because I was hoovering and having a bit of a spring clean, I had my bedroom windows wide open, those ones that go out to the roof there. And Sally, I knew you were going to do that. And Sally, and Sally thought it would be a great idea to just hop out and go for an explore. However, he soon discovered that climbing up the roof is a lot easier than climbing back down. So we've had the neighbours next door involved, the neighbours next door involved. We've had two ladders, two planks of wood, one towel, two boxes of food. An attempted fire and rescue call. This is a photo that one of my neighbours took. As you can see, I was in a dressing gown with wet hair on top of my head. And, uh, and that's Sully, right up there. Yep. <laughs> and after about an hour, he decided to slowly make his way down and hop back into my bedroom window. So it's been a bit of a nightmare. <laughs> the day's got off to a slow start um, after it started so well. But um, the plan now, very exciting, is that I have insured Elliot on my car. Now, Elliot hasn't driven in about six years? Five years. And he's quite nervous, but, I mean, he drove in Croatia. That was the only time, which was a mistake. But he hasn't driven in a long time, so he's quite nervous. So um, he's going to hop in Mr. Bonoffi. We're going to drive around the hospital just to get him used to like the clutch. And then we're going to head over to Wobblegate Farm, which is where we sometimes buy apple juice, um, which is like a good distance away. And it's got a few different types of road along the way and a couple of roundabouts and stuff. So he can try and um, get back into the swing of things. Woo -woo. Yeah. Um, so let's, let's do that. I'm not going to film it because there's already too much pressure and nerves going on as it is, I think. Okay. Right. Onwards. Oh, side note, yesterday I went for my very first sunbed. Now, I don't want people to be worried and be like, it's so damaging for your skin, because I'm not doing it to tan, I'm doing it for my skin. Uh, over the last couple of weeks, my cheeks feel like orange peel, and I don't know why, and I've got all these spots, um, and I've never really been very spotty before, so I don't really know what's going on at the moment. Um, and then someone suggested that getting a sunbed might help my skin, so I had four minutes on an 800 watt bed. I was very out of my comfort zone, had no idea what I was doing, but um, it was all right. So we'll see if that helps at all. And potentially I'll go next week and get one too, if it does. On with the day. Upwards. <laughs> We've had a bit of a drive. How are you feeling? Good after that. I went for a drive first time. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. But I just got a bit nervous. nervous. I didn't like it. No. So we were doing a little, Elliot was doing a little drive and then Dan called to say that the chain on his bike had snapped and could we go and rescue him. So uh, he sent us his location, we got kind of near and then I took over and we went and got Dan, took him home and then Elliot's driven all the way back from Louise and Dan's house yeah. back to Hayward's Heath. And it was um, good. Really good. I felt so much more I comfortable. I think you deserve this. <laughs> We've got to get those positive reinforcements going. <laughs> okay. Elliot and I having a bit of a mishmash of lunch before we head off to London. I actually made this, uh, which is like a hidden vegetable mac and cheese, which is a Joe Wicks recipe. I made it the other night. It's so good. I'll have to include it in one of my vlogs soon because um, I'm a big fan and it's super healthy as well. So, yippee! We were heading to London to go to a friend's birthday drinks and also to meet our friend's new girlfriend for the first time. <gasps> Very exciting. We just got for dads and went for a drink with him down the pub with all of his friends. They are so funny. Ready? This is a cool jacket. Yeah. I just found this jacket on dad's like hook and um, I think this suits me better than the other one. I'll show you. It's this one. Pretty cool, man. <laughs> Good morning. Bit hungover this morning. Haven't been hungover in a while. Had to have some bready breakfast and an ibuprofen. I'm feeling alright now actually. Um, I dropped Elliot off at Sydenham station this morning. He's gone off to do like a walk over the South Downs or something, I don't know. Dad and I are about to stroll up to Sainsbury's to get some fresh air. Elliot and I were actually on an air mattress last night. and it was, It's enormous and it's really off the floor but I've only ever slept on it on my own before. Being on it with someone else is a very different dynamic. Every time he kind of wriggled, I was flung up in the air and vice versa. That was all right. 
So we're gonna head to Sainsbury's. I want to get some milk to make a milkshake because that is what yeah. my hungover brain is telling me that I need this morning. <laughs> Dad and I just came to Crystal Palace Park to see the dinosaurs because I spent a lot of time here when I was younger and I've forgotten what the dinosaurs look like. We literally just got out of the car but Louise is called to be like, I'm nearly at East Croydon. So, sorry dinosaurs, another time. Got to go get the vista. We've picked up Lou and we're trying again. We've just come back to Crystal Palace Park to come and see the dinosaurs. And actually, so when, how old would you have been when you crashed? <laughs> Eight. When Louise was about eight, she was on a bike uh, <laughs> coming down a big hill in this park and she kind of lost all control, <laughs> started going, <laughs> ended, up, <laughs> ended up going over her handlebars and smashing her head in. Face planting. Face planting the floor. Um, so we've come to see the hill because actually when you're a kid and you think a hill is yeah, like hill. enormous yeah, and then you see it as an adult and you're like, oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is a really sweet idea. Lost property with a little squirrel. Louise's main priority is finding out where the cafe is. <laughs> She's flaking away. <laughs> We've found this one, but that's certainly not dinosaur. <laughs> we found one. This is so much better than I remember. I thought they were gonna be all old and like falling apart. And there's, I don't know how well you'll see it. There's like one coming out of the lake there. And then there's some, oh, it's so fun. I love that. So nostalgic. Oh my God, there's loads of them, look. Wow. What more have we got? Do you think they're life size? Or do you think they were bigger than that? So it turns out, we just read the plaques, that these were the actual dinosaurs that used to like roam around this area, which is mental. Those are terrifying. My least favorite animal is crocodiles and alligators. So imagine one like that with like a mouth that's like three times as long as the ones we know. So cool, this is so much better than I remember. I wanna bring my kids here. We just found a hat on the floor, so we're gonna give it into Cyril the Squirrel to put on his Instagram. Hello, Hi. I have a hat for Cyril the Squirrel. Okay, <laughs> right you are. Thanks. <laughs> We've come for the famous Anglesey Arms roast that Elliot and I came to have with Dad a few weeks ago that came on two plates because it was so big. So good, yum. <laughs> We've managed to roll home to Dad's, uh, had a little bit of a sit down to digest and now Louise and I are heading off back home to our respective houses. Oh, I'm going to sleep for the afternoon. I've set Dad up with watching Blackfish. I'm ready. Hello. Oh my goodness! Hello! Hello. Hi! Oh! <laughs> Mummy's home and Auntie's home. Legs. What's two legs? Legs. <laughs> oh, good boy. <laughs> we are back at Lou's now, but I was pretty much falling asleep on the way home, and I still live a further 20 minutes. Actually, 20 minutes backwards. Um, so I'm going to stay here for a little bit, have a nap before heading home. Because I'm in no rush, because I'm on Easter holidays now. I can sleep for as long as I like. I can stay up for as long as I like. No school. I've got an egg custard tart. I've been thinking about Lisbon a lot recently and how much I want to try a custard tart from Lisbon, so I was craving one. It's just turned 10 o'clock. Uh, I've just been editing my vlog, but I'm going to head off to bed and get an early night because I've got to get up early tomorrow and go and pick up mum from Heathrow. Uh, she's been in Cape Town for the last week. And she was actually supposed to land this morning, but there was something wrong with the plane. So they got everyone off the plane. They had to go and stay in a hotel for the night. And then they're trying again tonight. So fingers crossed she's in the air right now. She better be. Uh, so I've got to get up pretty early to go and get her from Heathrow. So I'm going to get an early night. Thanks for watching this vlog. Uh, I've had a great weekend. It's been really nice seeing everyone. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow, maybe. Good night. <laughs>